In this video, I will show, I will solve uh, one of the, uh, I think, first automation in your challenge uh, from bot games uh, using Geopad uh, with two different approaches. One is uh, typing, type into, and second one is using JS injection. So let's start with. Uh, but need to and task of this uh, challenge is first of all download uh, CSV by the bot and then uh, according to, to the information from the CSV file uh, fill all those fields uh, click needed uh, radio button click uh, if needed checkbox and click re uh, register so for example Mm. Okay. So and here is so. so let's start from the scratch. Okay. Uh, I will use sequence because it's a very linear uh, process. Call it main. Mm. Next. Let's. Uh, Open browser. Okay, and the link will be this one. A simple challenge, no need to use arguments. Open browser. Next, we need to download the file. And by the way, I think we will check. I will check uh, how fast what works with the load file, uh, with file downloading, and without it. If we previously downloaded. Okay. 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 Next. Mm, check. So I think if we use a uh, click on the load button, it will take additional time. So and also we will need to search for the file. So let's try to. Uh, do some magic. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. In this button, we've got a very good selector. Okay. Also, a name, and I think it's yeah, it's href attribute which contains information linked to the file. So uh, let's. Uh, it attribute okay. let's call it and get attribute href uh, selector will be uh, I pin it okay attribute will be href uh, selector I just copied it and the result will be str href Simple. Okay, next we will use, uh, I think, yeah, HTTP request. It will be faster. Mm, let me install uh, these activities. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So request. Okay, okay, and request. And download input. Okay, next. I uh, here I will endpoint will go href, and the result will. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm just sorry. Because this is file, we will use a resource path, and we'll, I will make this string format mm, input CSV. So to be sure that we're downloading the file to the bot folder, I will use uh, 
directory and get current directory. So the file will be downloaded uh, right to the bot folder. Let me show you. Um, also, oh, no, no need. Uh, oh. Later, okay, so accept. <laughs> Forgot to change this to uh, browser type to Chrome, but not a problem. Okay, uh, let's refresh it. Yeah, we got file, and let's check if we download the file using Chrome. Okay. Oh, nine seconds. <laughs> no. Uh, type of use. Okay, let's uh, rub this. Oh. That will be the first part. Next, we need to read CSV. CSV. Input. Uh, path to the file will be we pick from the resource path from HTTP request next uh, in input so we downloaded file now we need to and next we will go through all of those uh, let me show you through all of the rows you can see and fill the data. So, mm, let's start from adding for each current row in the input data uh, register. Okay. Mm. So we need to uh, need to type uh, customer name, customer ID, primary contract, contact, with address, city. So let's start from the scratch. Customer name. Mm. Okay. I've got ID, so I will use simple type into. Mm. It's uh, customer name, yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, customer name. Okay. Customer mm. name. Uh, it will be text current row, and let's open input file. Mm. Column name, uh, company name, yeah. So it will be this and the string. Uh, once again, uh, simulate. Let's set the values to zero. Um, it's pretty interactive and uh, let it be maximum one second. Okay. Oh, for this, now we need to uh, uh, fill. Let me count. Four, five, six, six additional. Will be customer ID. And then uh, primary contact. Contact next uh, street address. Next one will be city. Street city. Uh, zip and email. Mm. 
customer. Okay, let's start. Already added customer name. Now we need to add customer ID. That is uh, customer ID. Yeah, and let's pick the selector for customer ID. Uh, once again, very good selector. We've got ID and um, tag. Uh, customer ID. Next will be contact, primary contact. Uh, take this. And pick the selector form. Primary contact. Mm, yep. We've got ID once again. <laughs> oh. Next uh, street. It will be street address. And uh, the selector will be ID street. E. So, as you can see, <laughs> by this time it's very easy. A city. That's city. Uh, sorry. Yeah. City and the selector for the city will be city, I think, yeah. City. Oh. city, yeah. Mm. Uh, type into zip zip code so mm. Okay, zip. Zip code. Next, uh, we can, let's pick selector for the zip code. Okay, <laughs> and let's zip. Okay, um, paste it here. And the last input field will be email. Okay. Email and the pink ID will be <laughs> something like email. Okay. And yeah. And type email, ID, email. Be sure that we work with correct um, field. So next. So Select the state. And state. Mm, we've got um, and okay. I think this will be select. Simple select. Okay. Yeah. Select. We will use uh, use uh, select activity. Select. Mm -hmm. Let's call it select state. State. Um, selector. And uh, let's copy this one. Not calls state. Yeah. So renaming to state. State. Okay. And. Two different um, elements. First, this. Let's check how it looks. Oh, first of all, can we click here? No, we need to click here. Okay, let's pick the correct one. Mm -hmm. This one? Yeah, I think. It's Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. A radio and but this. So it will be our selector. Let me create it. String format. Uh, I will create dynamic selector using string format. Um, this. Oh, wrong, <laughs> wrong paste. Okay. Uh, we will replace this using the value from um, our input. And now, uh, let's, let's hmm. oh. So, um, because there is yes, no, we need to set to the correct, um, because uh, to the correct um, uh, case, so the first letter, but we don't know correctly uh, in which format we have received this one. So, I will use uh, this construction. System. Uh, uh, yeah. also, it will be easy to write in your path. So if we click. Uh, click yes now. No. And let's play with the selector. Oh. Okay, I will use something like. Mm -hmm. Just to create a custom selector. Um, localization, culture, info, uh, current culture, text, info, so title, case. Then I will uh, and I will convert. Um, a value from the input file <laughs> to the uh, correct uh, title case. So, current uh, row, let's take this uh, on this. Code. Oh, sorry, this I think offers, yeah, offers discount. Okay, offer discount. String, yeah. String. And uh, I need to cut it and paste here. Oh, okay, what's the problem? Oh, optional. Yeah. So uh, the bot will click uh, correct value according to the. Uh, uh, correct radio button according to the value from this uh, field. And no matter lowercase, uppercase, or camel case, it will um, transfer, transform it to the uh, correct title case. So first letter must be in uppercase and uh, other letters in uh, lowercase. Okay, and next, uh, and the last, I think, it's uh, this one before the click re uh, register. Let's check. So, um, okay. Oh, checkbox. Uh, ID and yeah. okay, Great. But uh, we need to click it in only in case that in those cases when uh, here we got yes, I think. Yeah. So, use simple if. Okay, and uh, I will add. Oh, sorry. Click. And uh, Also, I will, <laughs> I will add selector. Corrective. Uh, one second. Oh, by the way, sorry, I forgot to 
that this. Don't forget <laughs> that hard coding uh, selectors, oh, sorry, not selectors, uh, timeouts is mm, bad practice. And yay. Uh, yes. Sorry. Yes. Uh, then I click a checkbox. Okay, uh, so we this value and uh, this one. Okay, um, let's replace it. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, to lower invariant equals uh, yes if this value. Uh, in lowercase equals yes, then let's click it. And the last step is click uh, register. Okay, let's pick up um, selector for this button. Tag button. Uh, okay. Uh, here. And it's there. Um, setting selector. Directive. Uh, one second and here here is the rock so uh, let's try to run the bot uh, no don't save i will remove this uh, input file okay delete and show you uh, how it works okay Now let's yeah, let's run it. This is my <laughs> previously opened. Okay, something went wrong. Oh. Ah, sorry. Uh, I need to change uh, this. I think I need, I need to convert it. In addition, I need to convert it to lower. Oh, sorry. So lower invariant. So let's run once again. Um, run file. Ah, I will close this. File downloaded. Okay, so as you can see, bot is filling <laughs> all the fields. Okay, uh, it took uh, 20 seconds, but I'm working on virtual machine <laughs> on my uh, desktop. It's much faster. Okay, uh, let's uh, remove. File download from this chain. Okay, let's let's do this, and don't forget to download file because we've already downloaded the file. So here is input file, and let's check how it works. Okay, run. So the board will immediately uh, start the process. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, <laughs> much faster because I, I removed the load. <laughs> 